How's it going, everyone? It's Electron Man. Well, we're going to do something a little fun. This might be a series. I don't think I can put this all in one video. But uh, as you can see right here, I have it laid out. This is a kit I bought off of Amazon for under $20. And it's supposed to be a 70-watt HF amplifier. It'll be the first one I've ever built. I uh, thought it'd be a, a good lesson for me. Uh, start getting more understanding of these amps. And... Uh, Thought, you know I kind of went out and looked and there's not a whole lot of good videos on how to per, uh, how to uh, put one of these together so I'm gonna do my best to make this pretty easy for everybody to understand um, I've kind of read through it a little bit uh, it came with no instructions I did find uh, one diagram that I'm gonna reference to put it together but uh basically let's get started on putting it together I know one of the first things we need to do is uh, you've got these little tubes and these actually break out of the circuit board don't know how hard they're going to be to get out of the circuit board but hopefully they'll break out pretty easy I don't want to break the circuit board in the process um, I wonder if we can use a, uh, a box knife to kind of cut these traces here just see if that did the trick kind of scored them yeah there we go as you can see I just cut that out or scored it a little bit so I could get it to break out of there these are going to be the ends of our uh, transformers for the uh, input and output transformers which basically we got those two cut out what you're going to do is you're going to put these tubes inside of here and then we're going to lay this on the end of it And then you repeat the other end. Doesn't look like there's a top and bottom to it. It's kind of the same on both sides. And lay that over like that. And like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get it to where it sits real straight too. So I think what I'll do is I'll solder one end first, and then we'll uh, solder the other end. Seems to sit pretty good and flat. I'm going to use my uh, solder gun for this. I have uh, several different irons and guns depending on what I'm doing. I kind of depends on which iron or uh, gun I use on this. And I'm going to need a little heat, and this heats fast. And I'm thinking this is going to be the best thing for this part of the assembly. Let's go ahead and start it up, and get it warmed up here, and let's see how hard it is to tack these little. Uh, tubes into uh, the circuit board or solder them into it not tap them but solder them the thing I like about solder guns too is they heat up fast Get the flow around it right now. Not looking real pretty yet. I don't know if I'm going to like the uh, solder gun for this or not. It's not really, it's not putting a pretty bead like I'd like to see. Do it like kind of like we're welding them. It's going to tack a doesn't seem to be producing the heat I want to get from it. It's just not flowing right. Uh, let me get the other solder and iron heated up here. I already got it started, but uh, put it up to a bit more heat. I'm going to try a little uh, smaller tip on uh, my, my Jensen here, which I really like this one because uh, this is solder and iron. I can actually change the wattage and go to a higher wattage, which I wonder if I should have went to a higher wattage. I think this one's a... Uh, 
think the one that's on it's a 30 watt and this is a 70 watt I believe let's see if the 30 watt will do the trick first if it doesn't then we'll we'll go to the hotter tip and see what that does go ahead and tune it a little bit let's see if this works a little bit better I not like the way that was flowing oh yeah this is much better Now that looks good. That's what I'm looking for. Nice even sorrel all the way around it. You can see how it's getting it to flow nice. And there we go. One end done. Figured I'd start with these since you kind of got to assemble these before you. These are, like I said, the transformers, so I'm going to have to whap, whap, <laughs> wrap this wire in it. And uh, I believe it was uh, two for the input and three for the output, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what I looked in the diagram and it showed. Let that cool down for a second. Now then the catch is I want this to set flat. How am I gonna make sure this sets flat? Hmm, let me think about this. I definitely want it to set flat. Seems like it's got a little bit of move, movement room to move around there. Um, <laughs> don't know that I have anything that I can, I just finally had a clamp that I could clamp on that. Well, let's just try and wing it and see if, how flat it ends up if I just, I mean, it's kind of self-centering itself. Let's, let's give it a try. I can always heat it up and move it around. that cool down and then that's not a bad idea I'll solder one of them down and then I can if I need to I can uh, kind of force it flat which actually I'm setting good and flat good 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 we are setting good and flat so if you saw there I just soldered one side and then made sure it was still setting flat because this is going to have to be soldered to this circuit board. We want this to be flush. Hopefully you're getting a good view of this. I'm just basically wicking solder all the way around it making sure I'm getting a nice good flow. It looks good. Okay, I would say that's step one of many. So basically, I now have a. Uh, this would be my. Uh, I believe this would be my output transformer. I believe. We'll get further into it. I, I can't remember which one the long one, the short one's the. Which one's input or output? It's going to be no brainer because it's. It's only going to mount one way, obviously, right here. You only got this side, so it's going to go. It's going to go across here, and solder right on like that. 
but is it setting nice and flat? That's good. Okay. So now let's go. Uh, let me score. You see two two other little ones out of here. One, and yeah, I didn't think I got that score quite good enough. Dremel tool might have been handy here too. There we go. And there we go. Now we got the two end pieces to the, the other transformer with the two smaller tubes that are going to go here. Another. Okay, there we go. Clean that up. Okay, so the next thing we got to do is we got to make the small, which I believe is the. I think this is the input transformer here. I do believe it's kind of the same process. Stack them on top like this. Easy. Yeah, it's gonna be a little trickier one, huh? Wants to move around on me. And let's see if we can. We we'll get one side first, then we we'll make sure we're level before we solder the other side. I think iron's good and hot now. That one soldered, and we'll work on the next one here. I already had it in my OCD. I didn't like the way that one edge looked. I had to go hit it again. I had to cool down for a minute here. and I'm going to pretty up this other one just a little bit. It looks like it's still a little rough around the edges there. I clean my tip again. That looks good. Okay, let it cool down for a minute, and yes, that thing is I want it to be level when it lays down flat. adjustment to, to leveling this up, it will work on the other end. Kind of could eyeball it, kind of heated it, moved it around here just a little bit, it looked a little bit crooked. Let that cool down for a minute. Oh yeah, that's hot. Ooh, that's hot. The main thing is I want to make sure they're good and level when I put them on a flat surface. 
which they are. Good, good, good. And then we're gonna lay the bead around this last one of these little metal tubes, and that'll be uh that'll get the input and output transformers assembled anyway. I wish they all went on that easy. And here I am OCD in and over a little. There we go. Okay. Now we have those together. I'm actually going to get my Dremel tool here and clean that up a little bit. I'm not happy with the little barb sitting up there. and I can grind those smooth just for parents. Hold on a second. Okay, let me get my little Dremel tool here. Let's try the camera a little bit. And let's just clean up these little edges here. Man, that sucker's still pretty warm. Anyway, I just want to clean that up. Not a requirement, just make it look a little better. And that sucker's still almost too hard and hot to too hot to hold. And it's been a little while since I soldered that anyway. We'll just do this. I'm just gonna burn my fingers. Well that ain't gonna work. I can't hold it steady. That'll insulate me. Anyway, yeah, I'm spending all this extra time just to clean up these little tabs, which mean absolutely nothing, but... Hey, if you're going to do it, do it right, right? See how much better that looks with those ground out there? Anyway, there's my input and output transformers now assembled. As you can see how I soldered around them. They're now one pieces. And I'll go ahead and clean up this inside here a little bit. Now, see how nice and pretty the edges are on there? I don't have any of that kind of an OCD thing, but it does look better. By the way, I did a little review on this uh, cordless thing about a year ago, I think, and uh, man, this thing is coming super handy. Um, still use it a lot. doesn't have a whole lot of torque. If you try to override it, it'll it'll shut itself off protection. You have to turn it back on, but for stuff like this, man, it's it's great little handy battery part and Dremel tool. But yeah, if you hadn't seen the video on that, you might check it out. It's a good little tool. A lot cheaper than Dremel too. Okay, now that we've got the input transformer and output transformer put together, um, let's go ahead and wind the choke, which is this third ferret piece here. And uh, I believe this is going to be two wraps. So what I want to do is we're going to start on one end. I think I'll go ahead and uh, let me go ahead. And it's going to solder right here on the circuit board so I'm needing to make a bend a little leg for it to solder down to so I'm gonna do that right now at least on the one side and it's got a protective coating on it that I'm gonna need to take off of it so we'll go ahead and use the old handy dandy Dremel tool for that so that it has a it won't solder to that that protecting coating it has on it. Okay, 
so now we know we have the cut the color over that so it'll be ready to solder down there and we're going to take it in here and we're going to figure about how high we need to start which I'm going to start it pretty close down to the bottom already and then we're going to look which this is pretty stiff wire so it's probably going to be a little bit of a challenge to get wrapped through here tight It's about as tight as I'm going to get it. And there we go. Which wraps goes, anytime you go once through, and anytime it goes through a bead, that is considered a wrap. So this is two and two. So it's two wraps. Let's see here. It actually gave me a little extra wire here. We'll go ahead and cut that off. sure I'm cutting it the right length here. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and same thing. Set on there. Looking good. And since I had to pull on that so hard, what I will do, I will go ahead and get my. We don't want to do that either, so kind of make sure they're separated good in here. I guess you could have <coughs> maybe put some heat shrink around it. I would have preferred to have a piece of insulator wire there, but anyway, okay, we got it wrapped. Two windings with that thick stuff. Uh, that was a bit of a challenge. What we'll go ahead and do now is I'll go ahead and tin these up. Get back underneath your view here. And tin these up. Whoop, clean my tip here a little bit. Okay, and then we'll throw a little tin down on the circuit board here. And now we'll solder the choke down. It looks like a good time to solder it down. Got it put together. I don't know if there's any, like I said, I got no instructions with this. So if you buy one of these, don't expect instructions. Just uh, I had to ask the, the seller to give me a schematic for it in fact of course by the time they sent me one I'd found one online so it's kind of a mute point that side soldered get this side set down here And it looks like good solder joints. Maybe a little bit more on that one. It doesn't look quite. There we go. We got our flow knots in. And 
nicely done there we go so now we have our choke installed so far uh, nothing real complicated on the kit um, just slowly but surely knocking out the pieces okay um, uh, what would be the best way to do this I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the should I put these on first or put the relay on first it looks like I should put the relay on first okay here's your relay which you can't mess it up it's three banks and uh, the last two are separated out wide I already noticed that this is all surface mount so it's no through hole so I'm gonna have to bend these pins over to make it to where I can solder it down so I'll just I think they're gonna bend over pretty good see I bit the pins over on there and then we know it's gonna be the three and the two so we'll just line them up like that And hopefully once I get the first one tacked down, it won't, I won't have to chase it around. Okay, pin one down. And it slid a little bit on the sucker. There we go. Okay, now we'll just work our way around and actually let me do one on the far side make sure we look good as far as alignment on it actually I need to come a little glad I checked that I need to come a little further out on that Okay. And there we go. Yeah, not a whole long for a lot of room here, so you be very careful. I'm using a really small tip soldering iron for this too, not micro tip, but, but definitely small tip. And lightly soldering these. Just a little bit of solder. Okay, we look good there. And I think I got her looking good there. Let me do a little closer inspection on her. See how you can get a good view of that. So far I've installed the choke and now I've installed the relay. Had to bend the pins over on it. Not a whole lot of flux mess on that. Definitely looks like we got a good so next thing is um I guess we're gonna go ahead and do the uh the transformers here. Which Looks like they're just uh, pretty much lay them on here. I think I'll, what I'm going to do on that one is I am going to go ahead and tin those up. Where'd my solder go now? Guys, did you see where the solder went? I just had it. Really? I literally just had it in my hand. Wow. Well, ain't like I don't have more. Uh, the story behind this one right here, this is an old Flux Core 7030 with Flux built in the middle. I got this from my father that used to work for the phone company. He gave it to me about 
30 years ago, maybe 35 years ago. Has some sentimental value to it for sure. Uh, my father passed away in 2002, but uh, that's the soul. But uh, anyway, yeah, I've had this spool. Of all the electronic work I've done over the years, I've been using that same spool. And I don't know, I think it's going to last me a lifetime too. I hope so. But uh, it's good solder. You, you can't even buy solder this good anymore. With all the EPA rules and everything, yeah, I didn't even make this type of solder anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, how did that set on there? So it sets on the edges. So we're gonna go ahead and tin up this area. Tin up this area. Tin up that area. And now we're gonna, I don't know if I can get a good view of this while I'm doing this or not, guys. I'll do the best I can. I need to do a good job of soldering too, so. Maybe I'll line up this backside first. A little bit tricky here. Get her straight. Oh yeah, sure did. Wow, that was a good. Uh, carefully, uh, I don't even know if I need to add any more solder to this or not. I'll add a little bit more. Probably shouldn't be breathing this stuff either, by the way. But... Nice. Go ahead and make sure this backside is soldered good. Transformers are definitely important. I don't know if you saw my videos before, I had a amp that was down due to one of the sides of the, I believe it was the input transformer had come up off the circuit board. Probably just some vibration in the car or something. But that's why she wasn't working. <clears throat> okay, we now have the, uh, I believe that is the input. Not positive, but anyway, we got the transformer on here. Doesn't really matter because uh, I know the little one needs two windings and the big one needs three windings. So that's all that really matters for this part, but uh, pretty sure that would be the input and this would be the output, but I could be wrong. Okay, and same thing here. I have to line these up. Let me go ahead and tin these. Same thing, just kind of a little solder on here ahead of time. Be really careful not to bridge right there. Now on the other side, it doesn't matter. It's just one long, one long run. Okay. And now we need to take Notice I had a little uh, flux there. I want to make sure I get a good area to solder that down to. Okay, now then let's take this. Oh, this is a tight fit right here. Which I'll go back and add a little solder like I did on the other side too. 
Ooh, I didn't even get that good. It already popped loose. Just hold it while I get it soldered down well. I'm sorry if I'm getting my fingers in the way on this. I'm trying to keep them out as much as I can, but it's kind of challenging. And then we're going to go ahead and work on, see I've got her good and centered that way. That'll give me a good start. Yeah, we're, we're now we're soldered down, which is probably good enough, but I'll definitely go back and clean my tip and uh, lay a better bead on it. Add a little more solder. Like that, ain't that pretty? That one cool down a little bit and hit the next one here. Yeah, that looks nice. If I don't say so myself. There you go. That's that side soldered. Now let's work the other side of it. Which is a little harder for me to... Sorry guys, I'm going to have to... Yeah, maybe I can do it this way. Soldered a good flow in there. Make sure I fill the gap in real good. And I think we're good. Looks good to me. There you go. Now we have our input and output transformer soldered down. So now we're next to uh, doing these little windings here. We're doing the windings on the transformers, which definitely a lot easier wire to work with. Really thin though. Get around spooled here. Looks like we got a couple feet of this, which I know they're not going to give you a whole lot extra. They did definitely give you a little bit of extra, but uh, okay. I will tell you what, I think. Uh, that's probably enough for one, one, one video. I don't want to. Nobody wants to watch an hour video. I get that. So uh, we'll stop right there. Um, I'd say I'm maybe halfish there. Um, less, definitely a third there. But anyway, this will be uh, part one of the 70 watt uh, HF. Have a great day. Please like and subscribe. This is the Electron Man.